a Comedy Point exclusive for you. We join the space cookie himself, actor comedian Mike Bachetti, from the Warriors of Wrestling Training Center in Staten Island, New York, as he interviews one of the area's top wrestlers, Joey B. This is Mike Bochetti reporting live right now. We're in Staten Island uh, at the Warriors of Wrestling with uh, Mr. Joey B. Hi, Joe. How you doing, boss? Good, good. Uh, I want to ask you some stuff. How long ago did you start the Warriors of Wrestling? Uh, Warriors of Wrestling started in December. December 1st, 2007 was our first show, and we just completed our fourth year. We had a four-year anniversary show. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Because why did you start it? Um, I used to train out at Gleason's gym under uh, WB Ball Famous Johnny Rods. I didn't like the way he did business, I didn't like the way he treated uh, myself or a lot of the other wrestlers, and uh, I basically said, uh, screw you, I'm going to show you how to run a promotion, and I think I've done that. Great, that's the American spirit, that's the way it goes, like, it really is. Um, can you tell me more about your wrestling school? Um, well, the school itself is located at 56 Fan Street um, in Staten Island, New York, uh, West Brighton section. Uh, we do an old school style of training here. As you can tell, there's no heat. So in the winter time, it's very cold. In the summertime, it's very hot. Um, and the guy's throwing up from the heat. Uh, we train, uh, we start off with squats, push-ups, sit-ups, you know, a lot of cardio. Because uh, the guy can't breathe out there, the guy can't wrestle out there. So the guy like me would be <laughs> You'd be done. You'd be done. A few seconds? <laughs> Maybe a few minutes. But, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, we get into the basics. Uh, you know, we do a lot of shoe wrestling, a lot of grappling. And, um, you know, it's an old school wrestling. Awesome. Uh, okay. It's good for the cardio. How long did you start wrestling, and where did you train? Um, I started wrestling in January of 1998. I was 21 years old. Uh, and it was at Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, New York. I'm the Johnny Rocks. Oh, cool. Um, I didn't know she... <coughs> I don't know any promotion guys you have a beef with. Any promotions that I have a beef with? Uh, pretty much everybody. <laughs> I don't. We don't. We don't do business uh, really too much with any other promotions. Um, we, we do. Uh, we have a nice business relationship with Jersey Opera, uh, but other than that, I really I have no respect for anybody else. That's the way you gotta be yourself. Uh, you're, not with, uh, you're, not with you're not with me. You're not with me again. That's how I am. Yeah, it's perfect. That's how I am myself. That's why I love wrestling. It's not, the, you know, it's not the most politically correct thing to say, but. Oh well. That's how I am. If you like, you're good. <laughs> if you don't like, you can change your channel. Excuse me. This is Mike, Mike Bush. I'm live. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Great, Joe. Um, Joe, who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Wow. Um, that means it's a lot. Uh, I'll say the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith, because I was a fan of the tag team, the British Bulldogs. Um, but I mean, this other guy, I'm a women fan, Bobby Eaton fan. Um, I like Benoit. No guys like that, you know. But I'd say the, the Bulldog, because I was a huge, huge Bulldog fan back in the day. I, I love everybody. I, I go back to the days of Dick the Bulldog Brower. <laughs> you know I mean? like, going way back. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, this is so much fun. Uh, what's the best advice you would give a new wrestler? Ooh, you know what? Mouth shut, ears open. <laughs> when a guy's first starting out, mouth shut, ears open. Just keep your mouth shut. Don't, don't think you know it all. Don't try to tell me what you know or tell me how to do how to, how to run a promotion, how to train anybody. Just listen to what I have to say. I've been doing it for a while. And as you can see, there's guys out there that I've trained personally. Um, Stop with Larry, um, Joe Nero, and Riley. All these guys, you know, started, started on the base. That's from this, from this school. So. It's like leave the ego at the door. It's how I am with stuff, really, right? Yeah, I don't. I Guys come in here with the ego. They, they'll either leave because of the beatings they're going to get, or they'll. Or they'll I'm gonna ask you because I don't know how to do it at all. So okay, well, uh, yeah, I will do that. Awesome. That's oh, that's a good job. Do you think you're better than me or something? I have to ask you a question. What do you, what's the question? Do I think I'm better than you? Well, pretty much, yeah. Thanks. A lot, a lot of people actually do. <laughs> oh, God. Who well, asked these questions? I, I wrote some of them. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Can you give us directions to your, your training facility, but in the voice? Wait. Uh, in the voice, my favorite wrestler. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> no, because uh, he, obviously you remember I just said David Wayne Smith is an English wrestler. I have a I can't do an English accent. Um, do you want directions to my place? Yeah, absolutely. All uh, right. If you come from, I'll do it in my American version. Of it, first of all. <laughs> If you're coming from the, the ferry or from Manhattan, uh, you jump on the S40, uh, take it two and a half miles down here to Van Street, it's on the corner of Richmond Terrace and Van Street. Um, that's probably the easiest way. If you're coming from the Bayonne Bridge, just get off the first exit and uh, go up on Richmond Terrace and make a right and come down to Van Street. Uh, same thing if you come from the Gothels or the Outer Bridge, you get off, um, uh, go to the, I think it's the Martin Luther King Expressway. And switch your Paris exit and get away. Thank you, Jar. Things change so much, you know. You know it's, I don't drive that there, so it's a brutal thing for me. Well, this, this, this day, everybody knows Richard Harris, and it's probably one of the oldest sections to stand out. There's a kid's building within the routes of the 1800s. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's the same thing we all It's like a dungeon here. <laughs> but it's good, though, because. It fits, it fits the Warriors. I mean, we were named actually after the movie, The Warriors. Oh, really? Yeah, I love that. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
No, it's up to you. It really is. Um, okay. I'm actually pretty famous. Have you ever heard of me before? Can't say I have. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. You might recognize me on the commercials at 4.30 in the morning from another country, actually. <laughs> I'm VHW with a black and white TV. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I'm up at that time. I work overnight. I'm selling shit burgers for some company that's like a third world country. <laughs> <laughs> they can afford to eat them. It's not really. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the toughest wrestler you ever fought? Big Vito. Big Vito is wrestler. No doubt. Is he just like, I mean, does his name fit? I mean, like, he's really like a heavy guy? No, no, he's not the biggest guy, he, but he's a tough guy. He actually helped train me oh, wow. back in the day with Johnny's, and um, he's a fantastic. It's, it's still, to this day, he's in his 40s and he's still in fantastic shape. He'll probably take on, go toe to toe with anybody in any company, in any company in the world. Um, he's, he's a guy that a lot of people want to talk about. That's amazing. Tough guy. 40s and 50s, if you're not shaped, is, is great. Most people I didn't are. say he was 50. You're saying he's 50. Oh, no, 50. no. I'm going to say that. I, I, uh, I said he's in his 40s. Okay, 40s, 50s. I'm sorry. I'm covered. Uh, I actually said it, buddy. I live in... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you look right here, sir. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you ever been hospital? What the fuck? Sorry. Have you ever been hospital? What the motherfucker? I'm not, I'm not, let me get this right one more time. Have you ever been hospitalized? Hospital? Fuck! <laughs> As you can tell, my speech is, uh... <laughs> you're laughing your fucking head, I know. Have you ever been put in, been in a hospital after a match? I haven't been put in a hospital. Um, when I was 10 when I was younger, uh, I did come off the second rope, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I just jumped. And my knees went the other way. I didn't go to the hospital, but for weeks, I was in. I was in. Oh, a God. lot of things. Um... Uh, Do you think you can turn a 50-year-old fat man that went from his mom's basement into a restaurant? Meaning me. You want to find out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's go right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get in this. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, he'll get my phone book that out. Like, he's like, he's telling you to throw him out. I think it's Mike, right? Yeah, it's Mike. I'm spazzing. Okay. Alright, right, Mike. You're mine right now. You want to learn how to hit the ropes? By God, I want to see you do it. So, I'm going to see you start hitting the ropes. Okay. And we'll Sorry, this point. Get out. Nice crack. Yeah. Fuck crack. Take up your pants. 